Over this past few weeks, I've been speaking to the great and the good of entertainment, and I've got a gentleman uh, who is uh, incredibly popular, together with his band uh, playing around London. He's also played in uh, in Spain, also in Ireland, and uh, from County Cork, I'm delighted to say uh, a big hello uh, to John Joe Shields. John Joe, how are you? Hello, Jerry. How are you? Not bad at all. Not bad. Oh, uh, good. Great uh, to hear from you. Same as that, John Joe. How how are you doing? You're, you're uh, you, you. Needless to say, the same as every other uh, singer and entertainer. Uh, it's it's all come to a, it all came to an abrupt end in March. Yeah, fantastic weekend, and it was going to be a hectic weekend this, uh, every year. But this this one was exceptional for me, Jelly. I had uh, the Friday they were celebrating, and and uh, in what for that. Um, and the pub in Watford, and they were having the Saturday and the Beacon and the Saturday night in in the Glens. You know, we we were all over the place, and I was worried coming up to it, not because of the virus. I thought, is my throat going to hang on to this? We have eight gigs, you know, and and we have five five days to do them, you know. So it was really really good, but I got really nervous, Jerry, after um, playing and and the uh, the Sunday. Because of the virus, obviously, there were people coming up to you and hugging you, and you know it was. I thought this is not, this can't go on. Sorry, that was on the Saturday, and um, I thought no, this can't go on. Now I have to do something about it. And I said to Bridget, we cannot play unless we're going to be moved on to our stage and people keep their distance. So I spoke to the pubs more to them, and they said that's, that's okay. We'll make sure to keep their distance, but sure, you might as well be talking to the wall, you know, the way we always did, which I always loved, to come up and hug you and shake hands with you and they want to talk to you, but you couldn't turn your back on them, they were, every one of them I mostly knew in the Trent Park, you know, so I had to cancel the Sunday there altogether then, you know. Indeed, indeed it was. It was getting at that stage, uh, that weekend it was getting scary, John Joel, I'll have to say, because at that stage Ireland was on uh, was on lockdown and uh, all the, the venues were closed. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, uh, I really went into overdrive on the Saturday, you know, and I said I wasn't doing it, you know, but then the, they said it's shot notice and there'll be no problem, but, you know, you don't want to let the publicans down that supported me all through the through the years since I started, you know, and, and it was the type of pubs that I was in, you know, it wasn't as if it was a new pub or a strange place, and I didn't like leaving any of them down because they they were already genuine to me, you know, and it, it was an awful difficult decision, but I decided that's it on the Friday and stopping it, you know. Yes, and yes. We had to go from there then, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't want to face up to the Twin Park again, even though we were there on the Friday, and I thought, no, I have to cancel, you know. Indeed. Your life means more to you than a couple of gigs and your friends, you know. Indeed. But a lock up, and I prefer to, um, you know, lose a few gigs and lose a few friends, that kind of a way. So I, I kind of <laughs> went into lock, lockdown altogether myself, and people were saying you was wrong by doing it. But then on Saturday, the pub closed anyway, so I was pleased that I had announced I wasn't going to go on any further, you know. Yes, yes. Well, I think at that, time, yeah, yeah, at that stage, things were, uh, uh, you know, uh, things were getting, uh, uh, y- you know, uh, pretty scary at that stage. There was widespread, uh, uh, you know, people um, uh, getting the uh, COVID and indeed uh, at that stage dying from it. So it was uh, common sense, I think, in, a, in in many, many ways in order to do that. Yeah, yeah. It must be a big, uh, must be a big shock to the system. The same as many other uh, singers and entertainers to uh, uh, to just suddenly not be out at the weekends. Oh, I know, Charlie. Yeah, it is, it is, a, it is a big shock, you know, missing your friends. You know, it, every pub I went to, and you know, they'd go from one to the other, and some of them were a bit away. Uh, there were such lovely people, you know. I met so many friends in the last two years rather than years before, because I knew all the ones, but all new ones, you know, and it was so, so brilliant. And, oh, I really miss it. Don't, don't get me wrong, I really miss it, you know. And what can you do? There's nothing we can do. We've got to stay safe, Jerry, and, you know, well, we have no choice now, <laughs> only to stay safe. But 
it was it was a it was a shock yeah, to the system really. I didn't think in the beginning I thought well look this will be a couple of weeks and we'll be out of it you know, but I'm telling you it's going to take a lot longer than we think Shelley and uh, I think a lot of the pubs I feel sorry for the publicans because they they're losing out big time they're getting very little support they still have to pay their rent their rates and. You know, it's difficult, I understand them, because, as you know, I was in the pub long enough, and I know what it's like. You don't get no reductions off of the breweries, that's for sure. Indeed, you know? indeed, it's a difficult, difficult, strange, and and uh, and and weird, uh, weird times. And uh, you, I must say, you, you, your, uh, your particular act is is different in that you cover every sort of uh, thing. You've got Bridget on the accordion and uh, Mark in the guitar. You, uh, you've got a very varied program in the band. Yeah, well, what we decided to do a, a couple of years ago, Jerry, you know, you go to a uh, lovely Irish pub, but there's always a couple of mixers there, and I felt it's not right not playing something for them. So, uh, um, uh, the, in the band, we, we do 60s and Elvis, you know, Mark uh, Bell, the, my guitar player, I mean, he, he was... He was pretty famous before he came with me. Uh, pardon, he came second, and it's like new faces here, but it's called something else there. And he came second in the singing out there, you know. And he's a brilliant guitar player, and he can do. He can really take off Elvis and um, you know a bit of Johnny Cash and sixties and all that. You know, he do all that, you know. And then I do a bit. We do Irish. That's. Only in some of the pubs, you know, where you where you in this crowd, if it's all Irish in the house and the night, which is very rare, you'd always have something. You know, you'd need to do a, a bit of a mixture, a bit of country and country and Western American country, sixties, seventies, and things like that. And then before we take our break, we always done post cassettes, the siege of Venus and all that, and that was that took off like wildfire. Everywhere we go. You're playing the Siege of Venus. We want the Siege of Venus. And that is something that's getting very scarce about now. There are not many bands play for the Siege of Venus, you see. And that was really, really... Uh, actually, there are some pictures of that up on YouTube. You would not believe there must be 70 or 80 people in one of the ones I did down in, in Cricklewood. And uh, really, really enjoying it. The youngsters, even. The young... Irish lads of the 20s, 30s and 40s, every one of them out on the floor unable to do it. I was I was kind of shocked in the hotel in Cricklewood, you know, when I see that many people. There wasn't room for them to dance in, 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 the, in that hotel. There were so many of them on the floor. I mean, they really enjoy a mixture. And the other thing, of course, Jerry, I do county singing and I, I do a, a verse, a chorus, a verse for every county because you know that that really goes down the street very, very well. They say, "Oh, thanks for singing our county," and you know, it, it's very good. It was very, very good. Indeed, indeed, excellent. So now, the uh, the last album you took out, "Old Memories," went uh, extremely well. Yeah, it was very well, Jerry, and uh, it was all right. You know, it, 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 it quite a lot of them wanted it, and they said it youngsters. Uh, liked some of the songs on it, the younger generation, for some reason, you know. Um, uh, well, I'm not mentioning names now, but Publicans' Daughters and that, they, they loved that um, uh, Love Me Tonight. Yes. And they, they played in the car, and they told me after, their kids wanted, I mean, they get in the car, put on John Joe, put on John Joe, and it was only that song they were really interested in, you know. I don't know why. And they were only six and seven year old kids. Yes, yes. You know, it's strange, isn't it? It is. It's, a, it's great to be able to reach across uh, the, the generations like that. And I think the uh, also the uh, uh, you know when you do the Siege of Venice and the uh, you know the Kaylee music, uh, it always uh, it always livens up the show. Oh, it does, yeah. And it's a bit of a mixture, Jerry. You know, but Jerry, I was so so lucky. As you know, it was my daughter that put it all forward, and then there was a year of elapse. I didn't want to do it, and my other daughter then said, you're letting her down, and and I decided I went to a wedding in Ireland, and they announced it at, um, you know, 
having the dinner, he got up and made the announcement at the reception and he said, we're sorry, like, that she wasn't here. And, uh, but the only thing her dad is letting her down. So I, I felt very low over that, you know. But I, I decided, right, on the plane on the way back, I decided I'm going back to London. On my way back, I thought, I'm going to put an ad in the paper and I'm going to get a guitar player and an accordion player and a fiddle player and the flute player. But of course, there was five of us in the band in Jerry, you see, for a while. But, right. of course, it's difficult to cover five people in a band. But I came back and it took off from there then and that was it. Because she, she already had the album all done and going releasing it with Seamus Moore in the castle, which I didn't know about. All the nieces and nephews were coming. All nieces and nephews were coming. I'll get away from this water. Right. And um, from Ireland, which I knew nothing at all about. And it was all arranged for a paper for the castle in Child Hill. And of course, two weeks later, she got killed in the motor wedding. So that's why we didn't go ahead for the, another seven months after. Then, then I went and released the CD. We went back to Seamus and done it. And it took off from there. But I did so lucky with the band and never once in Ireland, Spain, or wherever we went, not once did they ever miss a gig. I was 10 minutes late for any gig, you know, and it was a very happy little thing. You know, you'd have a laugh and a joke on the way to the gig and the same on the way back, you know. Excellent, excellent. That's a, 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 That means a, a, a lot indeed. And uh, I must say, yeah, you know, well well done on all. How many years are you going with the band now, John Joe? How many years? How many years? Yeah, how many years you're actually uh, going oh, with the band? 14 years, Jerry. Wow. That's good. 14 years now. Uh, yeah, she's dead 15 and a half years now. Right. So Four. it's 14 years. We took on just nearly a year after she passing away. So Well yeah, done. It was very good. But Jerry, it's great speaking to you. And thank you for having me in the show. It's, it's a bit of a shock to, to call me that to do it a bit of a chat with you, but it's great. But Jerry, I must say I want to you for all down to the years. I end up in the pub and people have said to me, find the ring, tell them where you are, we have it in Spectrum Radio. And of course, you've changed from Spectrum now, but that hasn't happened once. That must have happened a thousand and ten times. And that's uh, oh, only for Jerry Button, we wouldn't know where you were tonight, you know? Right. So it's brilliant that because the paper wasn't advertising all the pubs, you know what I'm saying? Yes. They'd only not pub advertising it. And that was brilliant for me, and I think that's what built a lot of the bands, because you plugged us all, all down through the years, and the likes of me and many more bands like me would never be have the only for you. Appreciate that. Show. Appreciate that. Appreciate that, John Joe. I try, I try and do my best, John Joe. This has been lovely to, uh, lovely to catch up with you, and and uh, hopefully we we'll, we can uh, meet up again uh, as soon as it's uh, safe to do so. Uh, regards to yourself and the family, and uh, also uh, uh, the band. And uh, John Joe, listen, I look forward to talking to you soon again. Thank you very much, Jerry, and thanks again for for having us on, and uh, I'll speak to you soon.